us have felt the need of a guru or a spiritual director in our life. Guru means a teacher. We cannot do all things on our own. Having someone who is spiritually inspired, someone who understands and knows human need, someone who knows to discern the ways of God and who can direct the persons in right direction. Don Bosco was a great spiritual guru or spiritual master of young people. He had wonderful and pleasant ways of making himself loved and accepted by young people. He was blessed with very many spiritual blessings such as he could read the souls of his young people, he could tell the condition of their life, he would predict their future. The advice he used to give in the playground became known as the word in the ear. For as long as he was able to, Don Bosco took part in the young people's recreation, their games and their fun moments. This gave him the opportunity to get to know them and speak an appropriate word to each of them at the right moment. Don Bosco would put his hand on a boy's head, lean over and whisper a word secretly in his ear, putting the other hand round his mouth so that nobody else would hear. It took only a few seconds, but the results were magic. You could see the change of expression on the youngster's face and their reaction. A sudden smile, a serious look, a blushing of tears, an answer yes or no, repeating Don Bosco's gesture by whispering in his ear, hearing the word again, a shout of thanks and running off to play or to the chapel. It sometimes happened that a boy heard Don Bosco's word and remained by his side as if absorbed in some marvelous idea. Don Bosco himself told the young people, I am here every moment of the day and night for you. He loved them sincerely and they in turn felt that they were immensely loved by him and reciprocated his love. That is the reason Don Bosco said, Education is a matter of the heart. Accompaniment is working together, journeying together with young people of which Don Bosco was an expert. It is building relationships based on respect, trust and love. If there is no relationship, there is no accompaniment. Truly, with his two magical words, presence and accompaniment, Don Bosco guided and transformed multitudes of young people into good Christians and upright citizens. Don Bosco stressed the importance of reason, religion and loving kindness in our dealings with young people. Their well-being comes first, their interests matter, their joy and happiness is a priority. Don Bosco would say, a friendly word in private is worth much more than reproach. Instill in the young the desire of reward or the thought of doing honor to their dear ones. In this way, they are encouraged to acts of great generosity. I feel blessed to have such wonderful sisters always guiding and accompanying us. The presence give us so much of hope and courage. The presence of sisters in the playground, in the dormitory, in the dining room, in the chapel, and even when we have a bath and do a daily chores helps us to recognize the presence of the guardian angel. We feel that we are always in the presence of God and a guardian angel. We are guided to choose the right thing at all times. Yes, that's true. Before I was studying in another school, often we, we were left to ourselves. We had no one to guide us, no one to accompany us. 
no one to help us when we face problems and difficulties. And when we made mistakes, we were punished. I enjoy being with the sisters now. It is another world altogether. I feel that the school and our boarding is a home away from home. We feel so free to discuss our problems or difficulties with our sisters. It's a big blessing, I would say, because we young people always look for someone who would help, understand, guide, and accompany us. Yes, blessed are we if we continue this wonderful legacy bequeathed to us by our founders. In this modern world, more and more young people feel that they are left to themselves, they are lonely, they go through tensions and worries because many parents do not have time to take care of their children and their families. May the example and teachings of our founders guide us to renew our life-giving presence among young people so that they may experience life filled with joy and happiness and in turn grow up to be adults who will accompany others.